So this is, this one is amps mainly. <laughs> you know, a real 59 baseman. Crazy rare. The first Fender Reverb tank. Whoa, the second, whoa, the third, whoa, whoa, whoa. Brown no, face Princeton, super rare. Wow. I mean, whoa. I've never seen an original crate. So crates are called crate because they built them in crates. Then you have like over whoa. here. Oh, yeah. I've never seen an original I love that crate. that excites him. Well, well that's a, I, <laughs> no, I know that it's like, like the first amp that I bought and still the one that I played through is a crate combo amp. You know, it's nothing fancy, but I've never seen an original crate. I know there's a lot more like rare and valuable ants in here, but this one's special to me. I'm a crate fan. Take boy. it out here. Yeah. yeah. I love that you love the crate. There was that era of like crate and DOD and Digitech just ruled that's, the world. Yep, yeah. that's when I started playing guitar. <laughs> This is an interesting sound. I like it. Yeah. It sounds huge. When did this come out? Uh, late 70s. Late pretty 70s. Sure this is late 70s. Let's put it like a, like a standard tone. And yeah. I noticed like it wasn't that acceptable. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Yeah. How about everything off? That's really transparent. Yeah. I bet you could put that in the mix of any song. Yeah. And the song would still it work. It wouldn't bother. What would a metal zone sound like through this? Let's do all of Boss's metal pedals. Yeah. <laughs> and let's go in order of release. Guitar into heavy metal, and then I think hyper metal, metal zone, digital metalizer. It's a digital metalizer. Yeah. Good. Oh, okay. Metal core, and then there's this metal zone that's blacked out. Isn't that the, that's a new one. Oh, there's another metal zone. Oh, there's another heavy metal. So if we're gonna do this. When I went into Guitar Center in 2003, I looked at the metal zone and I looked at it like longingly. I didn't know what it sounded yeah. like. I just knew I wanted distortion. I was like, I wish I could buy that, but I couldn't buy it. But I was able to get the crate amp with the built-in distortion. This is like my 13-year-old dream bag. The original crate and every metal zone. <laughs> is this gonna be noisy? <laughs> Turn the distortions all the way up, obviously. You just wanna go straight in, full gain? Yeah. Okay, cool. This is gonna sound yeah, else, so good. Honestly, I think. Why is it not working? It's this. This is dead. I've actually done this type of thing before. <laughs> so I know that like, when you put this many distortions, high notes go through pretty okay, and everything else is, you know. There's the standard or custom mode. What sounds best to you? Custom. Listen, listen real yeah, quick. let's listen to it. Custom. Standard. Let's go classic. Standard. Okay, cool. We pinch harmonics make it through though. You just have to pinch harmonic every note. Is that the sound the 15 you was looking for? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I went into Guitar Center in 2003 with unlimited money, this is what I would come out with. Hey, Nick, can you bring a snare over here? <laughs>
Sweet. <laughs> well, that's all the metal zones into the original crate sounds like. It sounds pretty good. Yeah, yeah. That was a good... Yeah, I think was... we actually got a few, like, actually usable moments there. Okay.